hello and welcome back so in this video we are going to implement this lab that is implementing port security if you want to follow along in your machine device here are the instructions and rest of them here all right let's get started start the machine ubuntu. so with ubuntu i think it's like a software uh, uh, switch so from the left side so okay let's let's read it you will learn to implement port security port security controls how many mac addresses can be learned on a single switch port hmm. So basically it's uh, you don't want to they don't uh, it's a feature that you don't flood the port for it to add a rogue device mac address so port security is okay you will only be connected to a certain number of devices and that's all you need so left side putty ssh client that's this one host name ip address is 172.16.143.128 5001 is the port so that is not hmm interesting so it's and we're gonna where are you man i hope it's this one and you can see i o u one we are on the terminal oh i think it wanted to connect uh, via terminal uh telnet i don't remember what we did uh let's see So, e en is enable. So, uh, if you were working on a switch, if you type help or uh, try to see all the commands available, if you don't en uh, first, you will have very you will have very limited uh, number of commands what you what you can do. But the thing is, when you do enable uh, en then you can accidentally write some settings or you can delete some that may that actually will make that uh, switch uh, to do unexpected things or will do that were not uh, desirable so make sure when you are EM do not save anything do not change anything strictly stay in read mode um, and go with that so now you can see it's I have a enable at oh unknown command or computer name I'm back to my probably because I wasn't in telnet so let's go back and open a telnet So you can you can see Telnet is port 23, but they are using port 5001. That is another security feature. Uh, it's basically 1643.18. So like they want to make sure that uh, if like if somebody tries to connect uh, on port 23, it will uh, not accept the connection. Okay, press enter. Okay, there, there we have it. Now it's enable con T. 
one per line and with control Z so that's how you uh, now you are in configuring uh, so interface E0 uh, see I put oh that is not an interface interface E01 switch forward mode access Switch port, port security. Maxi run five violation protect. You can again see that the uh, user certify is horrible and port security why see there is the mistake so user certify is horrible in explaining what those commands are doing mac address sticky So in this command, we access the port security. We were like switch uh, port mode. We accessed it. We uh, went through the port security. We allowed only five. And violation protect, we make it sure that make MAC addresses are sticky. Once you, they have learned the five MAC addresses, they, they are stuck in that uh, their hackles. And then it's not like the sixth one comes and move on, no. So it's run. We can now run show port. We should have done that before running this. So you can see that at interface 01, the max secure address is 5 and current addresses are 0 and security action is protect so whatever the uh, the instruction we gave it it uh, took him now it says show port security interface e 0-1 it's already right here but i don't know why it's going for again so let's go and you can see port security is enabled secure up port status violation mode is in protect and aging time and all that let's see can we do the a02 and we can see that interface 02 is disabled secure is down and the violation mode is shut down so if we were to go back and uh, run all those commands again against uh, interface 2 uh, that that those will take effect and we'll see the difference here so we work with switches that are 48 ports uh, so for all of them either you go one by one like according to the system design like the, which ports are for what purposes uh, and you configure them some you just want only one MAC address stick to them for example mostly for like corporate networks when you want TFTP so one way of doing it if it's like uh, uh, that that is just one switch that you need to configure then you go one by one to each port uh, rest of, disable all of them and enable and work, uh, assign port security one by one on each port but once you're working with like 10 or 16 or 20 or switches uh, then you go with automation you have configuration files you build them through the console all right so this is it
i hope this video has helped you to some extent if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next one oh i have to go and submit it